everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney and we're gonna be painting on a hubcap. So firstly, yes, I know I'm on my bed. I'm I, this video and my painting of this hubcaps to like very casual. I painted on my bed like the whole time. <laughs> Not sitting. I like stood up and then I, you know, had the hubcap on my bed. But yes, I'm aware that paint could get on my bed and a little bit of paint did get on my comforter. But aside from that, it was a casual painting. I've been wanting to paint on this hubcap for a while because I have two hubcaps. Both of them I found on the side of the road. Um, <laughs> one of them I pulled over and ran over and got the hubcap and I was like hey, yes so one of them I found I kind of put myself in harm's way a little bit there's no one around but anyway and the other one where did I find the other one? Oh yeah the other one I pulled over to the side of the road because the first time I pulled over in like the little checkered line thing like the stripe thing anyway um but this time I pulled over to the side road and I was with my mom and she was like oh Sydney look a hubcap I'm like oh I need that and so I we, we got it and, and yeah so first I spray painted the hubcap which I spray painted a while ago and I purposely okay there was all this dirt and grime on it that I tried getting off and I couldn't get off and I'm like okay we're just gonna spray paint over it because I'm lazy and I think it adds like a little like worn out textured look to it you know because I spray painted over dirt and you know little plant stuff and grime so you know I go with that um so I am actually painting Olms O L M S um <laughs> they are little well they're they're pretty long they're long slender salamanders found in Europe in caves um they have eyes they're covered by a thin layer of skin so it looks like they have no eyes but they have eyes don't know if they can see or not see yet I didn't read that much into them they're really cute and so I decided to put um the design of them on here so I put them all on like the strips like the thicker strips of the hubcap as for painting on this surface it was pretty difficult because I painted on like the sides of the hubcap and on like the top was easy but it's just like there's no place where you can really rest your hand so I'd use my pinky to like prop myself up and you know and um as for like a pattern and design that's where I kind of struggled because I thought well I don't know what I want to do with this like what patterns do I want what colors do I want and so I've tried I tried to go for like limited color palette so I think I used I used blue white pink not pink yeah yeah pink yellow green and like a light blue so I don't I think it works out like I I'm looking at it right now and I'm thinking I might add a few things to it but you know yeah <laughs> I was using a regular brush, paintbrush for um, the ohms, and then I noticed I went to my little pencil, not pencil, paintbrush cup holder thing, and I noticed I had like a really stiff old brush that like I guess the it was just old and stiff, and it was that it was like a little angle as it's the one I'm using right here. Um, it really helps with getting details, and because it's so stiff, it's not gonna go flopping all over the place, you know. I have painted on hubcaps before. I painted on a Cadillac hubcap and then I ordered another Cadillac hubcap off of eBay. And so it was like a two piece set painting thing I did. And um, I had vines and all this cool stuff. But the first hubcap that I've ever found was like really close to my house and I, we were on a walk and I noticed this round thing. I'm like, oh, it's a hubcap. I didn't want that because it was just it just it was just round and that's all it was and it was small and it intrigued me and I'm like oh I can do things with this and so I think it's cool to like paint on different surfaces other than like paper and canvas you know like I've painted on bottles um 
you know, yeah, it's, it's really nice. You should try it sometime if you haven't done it. You know, sometimes I've been driving and I've seen another car's like hubcap just w wobbling and wiggling while they're driving. And I'm just like, ooh, I could get that hubcap after, after it falls off. Like it can be mine. But then it's kind of like, oh, that's kind of dangerous. <laughs> like I've seen so many hubcaps on, hubcaps on the side of the road that I thought I could pull over and get it. But I'm like, uh, do I want to, do I want to die? No. <laughs> if, if it was another circumstance when I wouldn't be in harm's way, I would go get it, you know? For this design, I was trying to go for like botanical, water-esque <laughs> look to it. Because I find that really attractive, especially like the base color is green. And I'm like, what can I do with that? Green goes with blue and blue goes with yellow and, you know, white and a little bit red. So I think it's a really effective. I thought about outlining like the ohms, but I'm like, nah, I think just the simple white, you know, and pink that they are is effective. And like that if I um, like totally outline them, it would just take away from the whole soft feel. I did add like green shadows as you see right here to like give them some like dimension, I guess, you know, mass shadows that kind of thing because i have another hubcap that has more like space and isn't doesn't have a lot of negative space like this one does i'll be painting on that one soon and you know summer's coming up and i have free time so i thought about i'll do that as another video but you know i guess with like a similar theme like amphibian kind of theme botanical thing and i'll probably put these up on my wall i'll have to like Add some wire to the back and figure that all out <laughs> you know i'm sorry i'm like kind of all over the place in terms of like the topic i'm talking about but you know i've seen things on the side of the road or like you know some junk that i've seen while i'm taking a walk and i thought like i can paint on that you know like you can paint on anything you can paint on your foot <laughs> but i mean like trash you could paint on trash maybe not a water bottle you know but like plastic like if there was a i'm not saying this is good but if there was a car accident you know a while ago and then there's just some like rubble stuff left over you can you can paint on that you know you don't have to just paint on paper and canvas and you know just go beyond the limits actually you know there's no limits you can do pretty much anything So here in the video, I took uh, my round flat paintbrush that I used for like stippling and I made like a yellow bush on each end of those, are, are they called prongs? I, I don't know what they're called. The, the little strips. Yeah. I added the yellow flowers and then later I add like with a, like a round paintbrush, I add like little leafy thingies, you know? Here I'm adding shadows to the yellow bushes to give them more depth and like dimension. So that they're not just kind of flat. And here's the end result of the painting. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love all the colors and the way I did it. I don't even see that. I don't see it as like a hubcap anymore. It's just like a beautiful painting. Yes. Um, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram at squids underscore art, and I'll see you in another video.